Hello and welcome to MVP playing FM21 and we're in the year 2032 now and a lot of goals have happened since you were last with me since we qualified from our Champions League group. Um, we've had games against Verona, uh, a 7-0 dismantling, absolute pummeling of Verona. Uh, Gnoto, Neto, Pulisic, Rue, Neto again, Torres, Gnoto with a disallowed one, and uh, uh, Neto completing his hat-trick from the penalty spot in that game. Uh, following that up, we had a 6-2 demolition of Lazio away where we played with two strikers. This is the other uh, other formation I've been toying with. The Lazio actually having an unusually a poor game there from right back. But our strikers getting the business done. Two for Gnoto, two for Neto, Torres and Luis Antonio getting on the score sheet there. 2-0 uh, against Inter, which was really nice to see seeing as though we've got to play them today um goals from bisgard and neto the wide players doing the business in that one Yuli hein getting a good performance in there as well kaglari was a formality well not a formality sorry it was actually anything but one all uh a rare occasion we're dropping points in the league but i mean it's a full strength side and there's no reason we shouldn't be beating them but they just held firm. I mean, we just couldn't break them down. Two holding midfielders just was too much for us, apparently. But on the back of that, we had another 7-0 victory, this time against Spal. Gonoto with four goals, getting a 10 in that game. Pulisic on a 9.8 with getting a goal. And Pulic himself getting a goal as well. Um as you uh, might have seen there as well, we have a new left back, uh, and I'll take you through the uh, the transfers in but a moment. Uh, after we needed extra time against Susulo to get through to the next stage of the Italian Cup, but we did it, and that's what's important. So today we have the Super Cup final against Inter. On the back of that 2-0 victory, I feel pretty you know, confident we should be winning this game and lifting our first trophy of the season. Uh, and after that, we've got the Italian Cup quarterfinal against Atalanta, which will actually be a pretty hard game because, I mean, they're third. They're, they're no fools. I mean, I know we've got 14 points on them, but we are literally running away with the league at the moment. Yeah, Wilfred Gonoto has absolutely exploded out of nowhere. His star rating's got to a four-star... Um, I mean, he's now scored 13 goals in 16 appearances and averaging a 7.2. So, yeah, he is back and back with a bang. We have made some transfers and we'll go through the the, uh, the incoming transfer, which is Abraham Munoz from Real Madrid for only £17.5 million. Pounds. We have a new left back and it's about time because uh, Malang Sar was getting pretty tired. So, 24-year-old Spanish, not an international yet, but he will be. Uh, two and a half star current ability, four star potential ability. Um, I mean, he's more of a full back than a wing back. His crossing, dribbling, and passing all need to improve. But he's good defensively. And for what is effectively not a lot of money, I'm happy to get a good quality left back in. Great agility, good natural fitness. Good defending, tackling, anticipation, decisions, and a good first touch. He's a good player and very happy to have him around. And I think he comes in as our second best left back, only behind Yuri Delatelli. But that's hardly surprising, is it? So good to see him come in. And we have sold a player. Lehaji is gone. He's gone to Arsenal for forty-five and a half million pounds. I don't know why. I've never thought he was any good. Ever. I mean, this is an absolute monster sale for Juventus here. They brought him in on loan, paid £13.5 million from PSG for him. He's, he played... So this is this is under me here. So he played 16 games in my first season in charge. Four goals, six assists. Not a bad return, nearly averaging a seven. This season, he's only played four times. Not notched anything. Nothing at all. So, 
for a player we didn't need, forty five and a half million pounds is an insane amount of money. So thank you very much, Arsenal. We'll take that and run with it all the way to the bank. I can't believe PSG paid fifty six million from buying for him. After they, this guy has had some insane transfers, really. I can't believe they paid that much for him. He's never been that good. His best season was his loan spell before he got his move to Juventus. So, yeah, no, glad to see the back of him. Lovely. Um, We have made a couple of other signings for next season. The most important of which is definitely Marco Zuzza from Chelsea. Uh, attacking midfielder on a free. His finishing isn't great, but he's got everything else in that role. So he'll be the uh, the maestro that plays the ball around. Uh, 17 passing, 16 technique, teamwork vision, first touch, dribbling. It's all there. Nice agility to boot. Flair of 16. So he is coming in on free, and he is going to be a very good option for us. Uh, someone who's been in top teams for a while. He's actually on loan at Barcelona this season, and he's not doing bad. Six goals, averaging a 7.3. But... He's coming to Juventus instead, and he'll make his home here. Um, somebody who's never really received a big transfer fee in his career. Quite jarring uh, watching, you know, comparing this to Lehadji. So, love that. He's been at Chelsea five years, been loaned out twice. The standard Chelsea way. But yeah, he's coming to us, so that's a lovely lot signing. And then we've also brought in a Rodrigo... Sorry, Rogelio Rodriguez. Um... A right 19-year-old Spanish right back with plenty of um, potential. You know, three three to three and a half star potential. Comes in on a free. Big fan of that. I think this guy was. Yeah, that's yeah, that's my uh, director of football having a bit of fun with that one. We brought also brought in Marcel Kaiser. Uh, he's going to be okay, sure. But yeah, that's a uh, a big. Uh, free coming in there from Marco Zuzo. So, I mean, he was literally the only one. There really wasn't much going on. Um, Squad-wise, nothing else has really changed. Uh, Serio still wants a loan, but I don't think anyone's going to take him, so that's fine. We need him to make up our Italian quota anyway. Uh, we blocked a move for Mirangela to Chelsea. They came in with 60-odd million pounds, I think it was, and that wasn't enough for me to let him go. Um, and Chelsea have actually been in for Casio Neto as well. They offered £90 million for our Brazilian wonder kid, and we turned it down, and he was absolutely fine about it. So thank you, Casio Neto. I'm glad you understand. Y you are home. This is where you want to be. Um, I think that's it. I really do. So let's get into this game against Inter. Like I said, I feel pretty confident. That's not saying we should, you know, be... Ah. No, that's not what I was just going to say. It's not saying that we should be, you know, you know, 7 nilling them. But I'd expect a victory. This is unfortunate. Hector Enrique Villava. Villa... Villava. Villava. He was a player I've been looking at. He has a £44 million release clause, and he's excellent. 21-year-old 20, Mexican with 13 caps, and he is a midfield maestro. Like, he's essentially Marco Zuzza, but better at 21 years old with the potential to get to five-star. Um, and the reason we've not bought him is because he's non-EU. So we're only allowed to sign one a season. I was hoping he would still be available come the summer and I would probably dump £44 million on Genk's desk and say, please give me Villavea. However, it seems like that's not going to happen because Barca, uh, Bayern Munich even have come in. So that's, that is actually really unfortunate. Yeah, that's a shame. I even lent them uh, a player to kind of get us on good terms, you know, because I'm going to be coming in with all this money, but... That's not worked out. Well, you never know. He might turn him down. I'm not sure why he would, but you never know. Um, so, Bisgard, unfortunately, is injured and not fully fit, so he will not be making the squad today. Yuli Heim will definitely be starting in net. 
Uh, Delati at right back sounds good. Seishus and Sakachi. Uh, I think Matthias Delict might have something to say about that. So if we bring in Delict on the right and Pena on the left, we'll bring Seishus up here. Move these guys around like so. Back three. Oh, Munoz is actually quite tired, so I think Malangsar will be starting here. I mean, Malangsar's actually been really good at left back, you know, in all fairness to him. So that's fine. Uh, midfield two. I know Miranjil is unhappy. So we start Abrahamson, although he has been rubbish. Hmm. Go on, we'll start Miranjila, and then if he's playing poorly, we can always drag him off and uh, send him on his way to Chelsea. Um, I think I want to start Luis Antonio instead of Elu Yes because you know he's not fully fit. He's got he's lacking sharpness, which is not what you need in a cup final. And then the front three, Neto, Ru, and Gnoto are fine, but who's going to play on the right? We'll bring Mochin onto the bench because there is... Oh, well, no, well, we'll put him there and then we can put him on the bench. So I think Pulisic can play on the right. But Pulisic has been great. I don't know. It's a toughie. It is a toughie. We'll start with... We'll go Ferran Torres. Yep, that sounds good. So Yuli Hind in net. Back for Delati, Delict, Peña and Saar. Midfield three of Antonio, Mir and Gila and Ruin. And front three of Neto, Canoto and Torres. Let's win a trophy. We definitely do one. So on the Inter stand in our way and an Inter side that we've dispatched recently and easily. I don't see us losing this one, especially with the form that Gonoto's in. He really is on fire at the moment. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't often see players get tens and score four goals. And I know it, it was against Spal, but... It all helps into playing the classic 4-4-2. I have a lot of respect for that, to be fair. But it shouldn't be good enough to beat us today. It is what they used against us last time. Justin Kleibert still somehow knocking around. He must be at least 55. Even Milan Skrinra must be old by now. There are some, uh, yeah, some older players in their team for sure. And we get to halftime without a highlight, so that's that's great. Um, let's uh, try again. And we're going to give everyone a bit of encouragement. A first highlight of the game. Lovely. Delati on the ball from the throw-in. Cuts inside, but that one's not nestling in the back of the net, is it? Onana with a goal kick. Pena heading forward towards Neto. Cuts inside. Is he going to go all the way? Or he tried to get it in that top corner, but Onana was very much aware of what he was trying to do and put a stop to it. We are picking up quite a few yellow cards. Well, I think everyone is. Oh, Jesus. Five yellow cards. Right, so we are going to go into our out of possession. And we already have stay on feet. Whoa. Oh, dear. All right. Good job we are staying on our feet. Uh, midfield is poor today by the looks of it. So I think the triple substitution is Pulic comes on for Ferran Torres. Yes for Antonio. And Abrahamson for Miranguila. Gets rid of two yellow cards in the process. So that's all good. Immediate highlight. Delict playing it out from the back to Delati. Yuri Delati plays it to Rue. I thought Rue was about to lose possession there, but he keeps hold of it. Cooks out wide. Comes to Delati, back to Rue. Abraham's in now. al -Yas! Mauro al -Yas with the finish. A tidy one at that. Fresh off the bench. Things you love to see. Things we love to see. I still don't know how he's ended up as a three-star player, but I really don't care. That's a big goal. Absolutely huge in the context of a cup final. And it seems like the uh, substitutions worked a treat. Because I think Pulic... Oh dear. 
Inter in behind. Oh, you only Hein with the save. He tried the double save as well. Oh, wow. But yeah, Pulic was definitely on the run. Abrahamsen played in the ball. And uh, Al Uyas was the one that tucked it away. But Inter are streaming forward. They're definitely looking for an instant response. Hopefully, they won't get one. Neto is tiring, but we haven't got any substitutions left. So, they're going to have to be okay with that. Into throwing everyone forwards to try and get a goal to force it to extra time. It doesn't seem like it's coming. Oh, just as I said it. Inter on the break. Delict getting down low. Clears the ball away. Gunoto picks it up. Can he finish this off? Venomous, venomous shot there from Gonoto, but comes off the outside of the bar. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on to it, Yuli Hine. Please. He doesn't. He plays it forward. What is he thinking? Sato, El Yuyas, Neto now. Gonoto making lots of forward movement beyond uh, the back four. Can anybody find him? Delati now. Goes out for a corner. Surely that's it. Blow the whistle, ref. Job done. First trophy of the season. Thank you very much. A goal from you, Julias, off the bench. The new signing for the season, making an impact. And Delict is here to raise that trophy with me, MVP. Excellent. Lovely stuff. Who doesn't love winning a trophy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Celebrations and fireworks. Just what we like to see. I do love how I made. You can make, well, how I made and how you can make your manager an absolute giant. <laughs> He's easily twice as tall and twice as wide as anybody else. I love it. So, I mean, our backline did a job today. Gunoto wasn't really around. But the midfield are coming off the bench to really sort us out there congratulations a cup wins a cup win and we can be pretty pleased about it 69th minute boy boys so great great stuff we lift the super cup we get a couple of million quid lead zebra to glory that's what we like to see and yeah i'm pretty sure in our club vision they really didn't care about this where's the cups yeah, Super Cup, not judging. Good job we won that one then. Um, I know they're disappointed about signing players in Italy, but to be honest, there wasn't many. Well, many we could get for the money that we had that were worth it. So we'll leave it at that. So we'll come back for our Italian Quarter Cup final against Atalanta. So we have a little bit of a situation I may have promised uh, Mikhail Sokachi that we'd sell him if we received a bid for 51 million. And although this is just short, it does include a 20% sale profit on it. And I have a feeling if I don't accept this, he's going to be pretty mad. However, this 50 odd million quid in uh, excess to our current transfer budget of nearly 70 million. And we've got quite a bit of room in the wage budget. I mean, we could get out a proper world-class centre-back to our side. And I am looking at Ricardo Lighty, who plays for Ajax, who had that amazing game against us. I mean, it, it's going to cost a lot, but... 26 years old, four-star current and potential. He's going to be a commanding centre-back. There's also this guy, Cosmin Yula, a 26-year-old Romanian centre-back who looks just as good. He's a little bit short at 5'10", but plenty of good options. I'm still absolutely furious. We missed out on Gert van Dijk. I mean, surely he has to be the best centre-back in this save. Look at those stats. They're ridiculous. So good. I bet he's absolutely tearing it up in France as well. 7.63. How many clean sheets does it tell you? No. 
but still, yeah, he's the one that got away. So I think we're going to have to accept this offer. Bearing in mind, we only brought in Sakachi for 30 million quid. And he hasn't exactly been a starter this season. He's kind of third, if not fourth choice centre back at the moment. So this is a good deal for us. But I will be sad to see him leave because I do quite like Sakachi. So I guess the hunt for a new centre back is on. So we say farewell to Sakachi. He's gone to Chelsea for fifty one million pounds in the end. Um I've just re scouted him just to see what they say and a fifty six three star potential now. I think we made the right decision. I know he's still only twenty two years old, he's got a lot of Polish games ahead of him and, and he might get better, but you know what, for fifty million quid and a twenty percent sell on fee, it's pretty good. And we have gone big on his replacement. Ricardo Letty is in 26-year-old Dutch international, 42 caps, four-star current, four-star potential. He's the successor to Delict. He has to be. Um, yeah, a great, great centre-back. Um, unfortunately, though, I don't think I'm going to play him today because he has only just arrived. Maybe he can come off the bench. Um, he did want the number five shirt, which was vacated by Sakachi, so that all worked out. Um, very happy to have him here. Yeah, 100 million up front, 20 million in add-ons. It was a big transfer. But... We needed a Delict successor, and now we have it. So I feel pretty confident about our centre-back situation. So looking at the team today, we're going to have Yuli Hein in there, a back four of Delati, Delict, Peña, and Munoz. A midfield three of Aluyas, Mirangila, and Rue. And a front three of Neto, Ganoto, and Pulisic. Let's just do this. Now, we've got... I'm not saying a bad history against Atalanta, but we've not been the best... I think this, this season's a bit of an anomaly, though, because, I mean, we're doing so well. And I would hate to be knocked out at the quarter cup, at quarter cup final, you know, round against Atalanta here. We just need to go on and win this game, and they are playing super defensively. Three centre-backs with two wing-backs. It's going to be hard to break them down. Pulisic with the corner. It's cleared away. And Atalanta are looking to get on the break. Delati was quite far forward there. Miranguila picks up the ball. Plays it over to Neto. Looking to counter ourselves. Although he's only got Gnoto really for support. Comes back to Munoz. Miranguila. Pulisic. What can he do here? Ah, oh, it's cleared away. Delict to Munoz. Good to see him in action for the first time on this. Miranguil outside the box. Plays in Pulisic. 1-0 in 13 minutes in front of the Juventus faithful. And that's a great start. A really, really good pass there from... Who was it again? Neto? Oh, Miranguila probably. Yeah. Just splits the defence. And Pulisic can put it in the bottom corner. And they're going to have to rethink their whole strategy here. Because there's no point having nine men behind the ball and playing on the break when you're already losing. Pena picking up a yellow card might <laughs> might bring on uh, Letty for his uh, debut a bit sooner than expected. Because I'd rather not have a yellow carded centre back. Atalanta have actually offered nothing in this first half. Super dominant. Very pleased about it. And you know what? Yeah, let's bring him on. Why not? Let's go to our tactics. Get our... I don't think he's our record signing. Because we would have got a, a notification about it. But Letty can come on. And the two Dutch centre-backs. Who I imagine have played together quite a lot. Can line up together for the first time for Juventus. Neto's not having the best of games on the left-hand side. I think maybe we just rest him. Bring on Pulic. Swap his sides with Pulisic. And leave a spare man in case we need another substitution. But this centre-back partnership is just going to be insane. It was always going to be hard to find a delete repla replacement. And I was so mad that we missed out on the one I actually wanted. But you know what? Letty's a great centre-back. And yeah, he might have cost us an arm and a leg. But he's here and he will have a great time 
Atalanta have equalised out of nowhere. How did that corner get through? So it is 1-1. One, one. We have got 20 minutes left. No one marking him there. No one even getting close. I'm going to go to very attacking and demand. Well, I was about to demand some more, but the highlight has already started. And Atalanta with the ball. Rue with the interception. Come on, boys. We should be doing better than this. Delati down to Pulic. Puts the ball across. Oh, you yes on the volley. <sighs> if that had gone in, that was like a scolzy esque kind of shot. I mean, that would have been an absolute worldie. And it was not far away. If Atalanta get another one here, we're going to be in massive amounts of trouble. They're playing it forward. Looking for the cross. Comes all the way out to their centre-back. Delati with an interception. Pulic now plays across to Pulisic. Aljuyas. Pulic. Rue. <laughs> he took two, the two bites of the apple there, but he took it away in the end. I think the first shot was blocked and it kind of just fell into his path. And the goalkeeper doesn't even react when he takes the shot. <laughs> that was a weird one, but 2-1 up. Happy now. We just need to see this out. We should definitely not be on very attacking anymore. We'll drop back to positive. And we can bring on... That's the question in Ferran Torres for the goal scorer, Julian Rue. And hopefully just see out this game now. One set piece and he made us sweat a little bit. Definitely shouldn't have been this close. And looking to kill the game off now, Ferran Torres off the bench, charges into the box and blazes over. Didn't connect with that one very well at all. And for, I mean, I think the third game in a row since he got four goals in a game, Ganoto's been completely absent. But we've won 2-1. We'll tell him not to get complacent. I don't mind that miringila has got a bit of a grumpy about that, but he's not exactly happy anyway. But nice, nice two wins. One cup for our trophy cabinet and well on the way to hopefully adding another one. Now we're into the semi-final. Looking ahead, I mean, the semi-finals usually come up quite quickly now. So I imagine... Ah, we've got Lazio. There it is. So we'll probably do that next time. Home and away. Lovely jubbly. I've been MVP. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.